Megan in the front. So we got a call for some kind of half ton truck stuck in the mud. I think it might be a Ram. And Matt's out today. He is not feeling well. That's hot. So we're going to go do this on our own. We got the wrecker on the trailer behind us. Uh, looks like it's going to be a mud job over by the transfer station, which I think is a fancy word for the dump. I'm sick too, but I decided to share it with everyone else and not be stingy. I'm also here. I will be supporting it any way I can. All right, so we're following Tom. We're going to be back up. We got the banana loaded on the gooseneck, and we're going to back him up while he gets this job done. We got Caitlin and Renton here. We are here. I'm here. All right, it's partly cloudy. It's about 60 degrees, I think, and it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it feels like 60. It's a great day, and we're going to go get it out. If we don't have to unload the banana, we're not going to. The banana's back up for the record. That's a little sketchy, but... That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're fully loaded, aren't we? We are. This thing's like a Suburban today. High schoolers, I get it. Where was she mud. That's how you show your dominance. Long hair and mud. So you're just gonna back in, lift it up with the two booms and pull out? Yeah, kind of watch me back in because I don't want to get too far into that mud. So okay. stop me before it looks like we're getting into something mushy. Okay, I don't want to do a mat. So it looks pretty dry. I don't think it's gonna sink that bad. Rhett, can you jump in there and get it set up? Do not start it. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Tom, you want both of them hooked on? Yeah, let's hook both on and kind of walk it. Okay. For now, we need to hook on to the, to the center. Yeah, the center. I think we'll have a good angle to get him up, and then we'll get him out of this. If we use both winches together, okay. I think we'll be fine. Dude, this tire is all the way to the top. So this is why I don't mud anymore. Ruins your truck, you get stuck, and you have to call your dad. Let's try lifting off right here, and let's see what it does. Ooh. So let's lift it up with one, Tom, and then let's wrap the other one around the other side. How about that? Yeah, once we get it up. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Good to be unstuck. Tom! Everybody stand clear! I should say, makes this look too easy. Yeah. <laughs> that feels good. I was getting worried when we were spinning them in there. This truck's taller than I thought it was. There's a little bit of a step getting out of there. That was a good hard pull, man. Oh, yeah, it was. Nice job, Epe. <laughs> good job, Kaylin. <laughs> <laughs> She's running the football. She did all the heavy lifting. She's the quarterback. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming. All right, there's Sweet one man. extra large shirt. It should go well with that donut yeah. media hat. <laughs> Thank you. Just coming out here, man. Yeah, no problem. Wrecker dug in there and here. And the truck was stuck here. You can't even see how deep that is. So they said that they were there for three hours last night trying to get it out before they called us. We were glad the wrecker was up to the challenge. All right, we got a call about a Ford F-150 that's stuck in the sand out at San Paulo. So this should be a quick, easy job. They're stuck up by the entrance to Double Sammy. So we decided to bring the dogs along, let them get a good run. Get on out. I'm also here today. It's a Saturday. This is weekend crew stuff. It's about 52 degrees. Some clouds, it's been raining, but sun's back out. It's a beautiful day. Get him up on these rocks and yeah that way he can get going are you gonna keep heading out then yeah i was gonna go on up to the top of the world which is the easiest way the top of the world's like over that way okay so just stay on this and then just yeah you'll see you'll when you get up to the dunes before you get into the main part of the dunes be on the edge of them you'll see top of the world off to the right yeah yeah all right there's one extra large shirt thanks a lot yeah and we really appreciate it Hopefully, I won't have to call you again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My wife's not happy. Okay. Good luck. Well, you know who to call if you get oh, stuck Okay, again. I will. Y'all have a great evening. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, too. That was a fairly easy job. The dog's got a good run in. You can tell they're all tuckered out. Probably, what, a mile or two they ran? Yeah. <laughs> so, we're still waiting for one. Yeah. Come on, lady. <laughs> Let's go. We're almost there. Good girl, lady. Come on, load up. All right, so we got them out. Super easy pull. We sent them on their way. Enjoy the next recovery. All right, so we got a call for a Chevy 1500 stuck out in the sand in Warner Valley. So we're heading out there. It's Christmas Eve. We're going to go try and find them and get them out. All right, so as Hefe said, it is Christmas Eve. And we're out here helping people. We got all the dogs with us. It's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky. I don't know what the temperature is. It's probably 
high 50s, something like that. Weekend crew, here we go. This place is called Purple Hills. Wonder why. There's a white truck right there. Pepe thinks that's him. That's where the pin says. So this sandy spot right here is where we had my dad's birthday party two or three years ago. All right, let's go eat. I bet it did. Sure. Surprise birthday party with yeah. flamethrowers and all sorts of stuff. Try to turn around and couldn't go forward anymore, so we try to go backwards and got stuck. <laughs> what does it look like going that way? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Looks like you got a pretty steep climb. I think we want to get you back up this way and out. Just get him back on that road, then he yeah. can get a run up and get a run right there. Okay. So I'm currently wearing my mom's jacket because. It was tossed in my room, and I didn't think about it and just grabbed it. And it's too small. Get the one that fits you at mattsoffroadrecovery.com. We're gonna follow you out, make sure you get out. Okay. Or are you sticking around? Oh no, we're gonna get out. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll make sure you get all the way out of here then. All right, sounds good. All right, so we're just following the customer out, making sure that they get out. And then we're just letting the dogs run, get their exercise in for the day. That was an easy job. Pulled them right out. More bears got enough weight that we didn't even have to get a run at it. Just pulled them out, but they were buried all the way to the frame. Came out super easy. Threw me off that it was a manual. I was expecting an automatic. Merry Christmas! We'll see ya! Alright, that was a, another really easy job. Dogs got a good workout in. Hopefully my dad's feeling better. And thanks, thanks for watching! It's running! It's blowing mud out the tailpipe, but it's going. <laughs> <laughs>